All right. Welcome uh, to the back. Must, that must be this extra time. I had no idea what we were doing, <laughs> but now I do. What if I ever opened the show that way? That would totally throw you off. It would. I wouldn't know what to say. I actually preferred it when you, when? Did, when you oh. did that without notes and you were doing it. Oh, uh, yeah. See, he's, he, no, yeah. No, he's actually no, doing thing. it in yeah, purpose no, now. No, Whereas before, yeah. he just used to be natural. Yeah. Now it's all forced. What do you mean forced? It's just not the same. How, how, how do you it's not the same. How do you say, all right, natural? All right, how does that just come out your... Just like I do it. Most natural. All right. It's just odd. All right. It's just odd. Uh, we got Shaka, Stevie Seb here, and we have Ian Dark with us hey, as well. Hey, it's Ian Dark. Um, hey, Ian. Uh, Hello, is the EPL <laughs> race over already for 18 teams? Harper B40 wants to know. Uh, Ian, why don't you lead us off here? Is it over? But well, let's hope not, because it's not even July yet, is it, for goodness sake? I mean, this is why we watch the product, isn't it? Well, look, stand by to be surprised, but are Liverpool and Manchester City favourites to be way out in front again? Yeah. All right. Who's challenging them then, Ian? Well, the usual suspects, but I think what's interesting this season is you could see maybe a Wolves or a Leicester City or an Everton maybe looking to gate crash that top six if Arsenal and Manchester United don't strengthen enough. Next question comes from Jordan Magic. Favorite football player of all time. Jordan We've had a few Magic. of these uh, recently. Your, I think, wait, didn't we ask you this question recently, Stevie? Your favorite footballer? Oh, no. no. That was who inspired you to play football. Right. So who's your favorite? Favorite of all time. You don't have one. That's hard. There's too many. You got one shot? Zinedine Zidane. Wow. My favorite player of all time. Authoritative. What about our colleague Mario Kempis? Favorite. Mario Kempis. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite player of all time. I know, I'll be honest. I, I have a real soft spot for, for, for Mario. 78 World Cup, I was nine years old, so I'm kind of given my age, well, I don't know, I need to give it away, but it's the first time I could really appreciate the World Cup for what it was. Um, and, and, and of course, 78 in Argentina is when Kempes won the Golden Boot and just set that tournament to light. So it's the only time I've ever been starstruck in my life is when I met Kempes when I first showed up for work here. Mm. Only time. It's crazy, he's like a World Cup Golden Boot and he has a cubicle with a name that says Mario Kempis, like if, he's if you just didn't another know, guy. If you <laughs> so did, weird. If you didn't know who Mario Kempis was and you were just chatting him in the hall, yeah. you were just no saying, like, uh, who's this guy just wandering the halls of ESPN? He's, he's, the, he's the nicest person ever. Unbelievable. Ian, who's your favorite footballer of all time? Well, I can identify with that story Shaka just told because I wandered along the corridors at ESPN one day and bumped into Mario Kempis and I didn't realize it was him the first time I met him. So, yeah, that was a wonderful moment. He really did have fantastic charisma. Mm -hmm. But for me, and this is an unoriginal choice, the best player I've ever seen is Lionel Messi. Mm. Fair enough. TV, anybody yet? No, I love tons of players. Yeah. I mean, people, some of you wouldn't know. Willie Henderson? Played for Rangers. I was yeah, you were a big fan. Rangers, right? Yeah. Rangers as a kid. People this year. Like Dark, you'll remember Willie Johnston. Yep. We bought Johnston. Yeah. And then you had Messi's and Maradona's and Pelly's and George Georgie Best. Best. Yeah, I had, yeah. Yeah. I had a pair of George Best boots. I think actually, when I was at primary school, um, yeah. I had a pair of George Best boots. And I think I left them there when I went to secondary school. And I think they're still there at mm. old school. Really? Aye. Uh, oh, what a. Aye. Oh, hey, when Lord. I was a kid, when I was a kid, I used to I used to idolise a right winger who played for Portsmouth, and they were in the top division then, called Peter Harris, who'd have played for England a lot more times if Stanley Matthews hadn't been around at, at that time. He was absolutely magical. One night they played Aston Villa in a midweek game. He was playing on the right wing. He scored all five goals. Shaka, mm -hmm. Shaka, I do not believe you need to worry about giving your age away, as uh, yes. Mr. Darkey was talking about <laughs> Stanley Matthews. Right. I feel yeah. a whole lot, feel a whole well, lot younger about, all of a sudden. I was about five. <laughs> I was about five when I was watching that, I tell you. Wow. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, next question here. Which newly promoted side do you think will have the best season oh. in the Premier League? I can't Ian. Well, yeah, uh, I would say, uh, uh, Norris, Norris, without going into big Norris. reasons, because we're having right, a chat, Norris. it's all lighthearted. I'll go Aston Villa. I think, really. I think Norwich will play some good stuff, but I think it'll be touch and go for them. Sheffield United, a few things going on behind the scenes, but uh, I like the manager there, Chris Wilder, a lot. You know, it's hard to think that any of these three teams is going to do what Wolves have done. Yeah. That was 
totally unique, right? I mean, it, it's, it's unique, but it shouldn't have been such a huge surprise. I mean, when you look at some of the players that they had in playing in the championship, they were Premier League players that were playing in the championship. Mm -hmm. Whereas, no disrespect to any of the, the three coming up, but all but, of their players I'm, right now are championship players that are moving up to the mm -hmm. Premier League. I remember when, when Fulham got promoted and, and they spent a ton of money last summer. Yeah. It was like Fulham have promoted three. I think Fulham were the ones that are going to make all the noise. And I mean, it couldn't be yeah, any that. more flat. They made 20, 21 or 22 changes in the squad. Wait, that's a lot. That's daft. Paul Mariner's Bugle writes in, what was the <laughs> favourite moment from your career, Shaka? Favourite moment from my career, and this is easy, playing for Trian to Bigger the World Cup. That's, that's... The Sweden match specifically? Yeah. Yeah. I, well, specifically because it's the first time we played in a World Cup. And, and um, to be on the pitch for that is something I never thought that I would be. Stevie, you've got a few choices. You know, I, I can't pick one, but what I'll tell you is, I always remember the first time I played for Air United. My first ever professional game. Mm -hmm. And after the game, I realised that I could actually do this. Mm. That was that was huge. Uh, Ian, I'm pretty sure I know your favourite moment from your career. Go go USA! Well, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well you, it's right up there. That's that's for certain. I, I don't know. Somehow, it, when I get asked this, it, it's so impossible. But you know, doing that Brazil Germany game was an amazing thing. That semi final. Mm. I mean, Brazilians will hate it. That Germany winning seven one in Brazil. That was unreal. You know, you're do, you're talking about a game that people are going to be talking about in half a century's time. So that kind of stands out. But yes, the Donovan goal was. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, tell you, I tell you what, I'm sorry. He said hey, diplomatically. Darky, Darky, you're off my Christmas card list. Right. I can't okay. believe you never said when I commentated on Steve Nichols' testimonial. I oh, can't believe. Oh, I can't believe you never said that. I remember that. doing that, Stevie. Yeah, I remember doing that. I remember talking to you on the phone for about <laughs> half an hour about all the what was going to be happening. Yeah, you were great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's the highlight of any, anybody else. Uh, when you've got the, when you've got as a, as long a history as, as Ian Dark is in the commentary game, maybe it fades. Yes. Stephen, well, well. What are you writing? We do an extra time. What are you yeah. writing? You, Seriously, you want to know? Yeah, yeah, I do. I've been told to ask Stevie to keep his response to the next tweet PG. So I want to <laughs> write that down to make sure I got it in I, there. I, I like how well, I, I like how we have to remind Stevie. Stevie, no. Yeah. With this question, just Two, three keep times it, a day. Yeah, keep it PG, please. Come on, Ainsley. Please. Uh, All right, uh, Justin Bennett wants to know, can Steve elaborate on Paul's story from yesterday about him sleeping naked <laughs> on all fours? Me? <laughs> I, I, that was on Extra Time yesterday. Shut, shut. You didn't listen to the, you don't listen to the I, show every day? I, I didn't yesterday, but I generally do. <laughs> there, was, there was a sleep on all fours and then a sleep in the shower, I believe, in that story. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you're so wait, mad. Wait, hold on, hold on. You're hold gonna on. break his bugle again? I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to. Hey, there's what? a reason he's got a big bugle. Because <laughs> people keep punching it, because he keeps telling stories. <laughs> Sleep on all fours was. I, I, I... <laughs> to be honest, you know, when you, you know when you said that one, there was another one that came to my head. And that you were more I'm worried about? Until that one, I. <laughs> there was like sweat almost beating on your forehead. Yeah, yeah, there was one thing. I mean, I went to Bermuda mm. to watch the golf for a couple of days and there was an incident on the way by okay. I'm glad I never told you that yeah, it was not that story it was uh... <laughs> that's yeah, the one I was yeah, scared of yeah, no, nobody's gonna be asking about hey, that by the way yeah, nobody's gonna be asking hey, about that now are they naked and on all fours <laughs> I'll take that any day of the week <laughs> that's, a, that's a Tuesday night in Stevie's book <laughs> I'm like that four thank god it was that one right, right. Paul's story from yesterday Stevie was clutching his chest that one is the president well, that's oh, that that's that naked and all fours uh, <laughs> Ian, did that make it into the uh, testimonial match broadcast, that story? <sighs> what, say that again, Seb. So did it make it into the... Uh, in the laughter. It, did it make it into the testimonial match broadcast, that story? Ooh. No, it didn't make it because... Uh, but I'll tell you something. Li listening to those two there, Shaka and Stevie, talking, I reckon the players back then had way more fun than to today's players eating fish and pasta and, and fruit all the time. And I think they enjoyed a few nights. They could fill about four FCs if you got them going, you know, uh, I, stories I, about their careers. I don't know what you're you speaking what? about, you know what? You got, Mr. Dark. You've actually got a good point there, Darkie. When, when the uh, rest yeah, played... I, 
When the Reds played Man United in the, you know, in a friendly a few years ago when I was still at Revs, and, and uh, Mickey Phelan and, and Fergie and that came in and we were talking away and I said to them, and we were talking about, because we were obviously telling stories and everything else, and I said to, to Mike Phelan, I said, I said, I'm assuming the players don't have as good a laugh as we used to. And he went, what? He said, I'll tell you what, he said, we, we give them days off. Not very often, he said, but we'll give them a guys a day off. He said, and I'll guarantee, he said, there's five or six of them will turn up at the training ground and just be floating around. Nothing to do. Like well, Craig Burley. They don't know what Here at ESPN FC. Yeah. Other, than, <laughs> other than play computer games and yeah. being on their phones and the Instagrams and all this other part, he said they don't know what to do with themselves. Mm. We certainly didn't have that problem. No, it wasn't. We didn't, but they're model we didn't professionals, have... of course, Stevie. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, well, got, as, as were we, Mr. Dog. Yeah, you still got to enjoy course. yourself. Of you course. Got, what, where, where's the benefit then if you can't enjoy yourself? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Nothing, there's nothing better than going out and enjoying yourself, turning up the next day for training and working your socks off. Fantastic. Great. So what, what happened in Bermuda? Come on, from Bermuda. <laughs> We'll, oh, okay, we'll run out of time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that for tomorrow's show. Yeah. I'm, I'm coming in tomorrow. PG <laughs> I'm off tomorrow, but I'm coming one. in just for that story. Great, so it'll be you and Craig. <laughs> your vacation clothes. <laughs>